everyone, and welcome to uh, Cardspiration Week 12 for me. Um, I got my inspiration from, um, this is Sister D, I believe, on YouTube, and it's a Gerber Daisy easel card. So it's an easel card, but it's in a circular format, which you don't typically see easel cards that way. So I really, really like the way she created this card. So that's what my uh, card is taken from. And before I continue, I just wanted to, I would be remiss if I didn't send out my condolences to all the friends and family and uh, scrapbookers and YouTubers who are very close to Lynn K. 1970. I saw this morning on uh, one of the videos that she had been tragically, her and her daughter were tragically murdered um, this weekend. Uh, her husband is the prime suspect. It's somewhere in the Washington State area. And it's just such a tragedy when you hear those things. And although we never meet each other on YouTube, it's just such a sad thing. And some of the videos I was watching, the people were so saddened by it. And I just can't even imagine that happening to one of the YouTube friends that I'm close to. So I just wanted to send out my condolences to all of those people. And um, those two were gone too soon. And may they rest in peace. So now we'll go on and show you how I created my easel card. So the paper line I used for, for my easel card was a GCD Studios, it's called Cloisonne, and I found it for, it was all loose like this in a sale bin for $3.99, but I don't typically have a lot of pink, I think it was a Valentine's uh, line, but I don't have hardly any pink and so I thought some of these were really, really pretty. So I just picked it up. And it, some of them are glittered and very pretty paper. So this is it here. So I used um, Kiwi Kiss uh, cardstock from Stampin' Up. And I'm not sure if this is pink pirouette or not from Stampin' Up, but it was a rosy pink color. Then I just had these um, kind of raised wooden... Uh, embellishments. I think I got them at the dollar store. Pretty sure. And then just some I Am Rose's little um, green leaves. So I use the um, number one circle scallop, or it doesn't just a big circle scallop from Stampin' Up. You can see it there. And I created a card. So my original piece of paper, I cut uh, five and a half, and then just folded it in half. So it was a five and a half inch card base. Then I placed that square on the scallop here, but instead of putting it right there, I moved it in about four scallops, like so. So I don't know if you can see that definition of the scallop there. And then I moved it in, and then I cut it out like that. So when you took it apart, it created a scallop card. Then I went on to cut the green, the Kiwi Kiss, exactly the same, and then the paper, the GCD Studios printed paper, exactly the same. So first I'm going to work on, well first what we're going to do is we're going to do as you do with all easel cards. You fold the top piece in half because you're going to create your easel. So I'm going to try and match up the scallops and I'm pretty sure because I made sure that I allowed four scallops at the top there where the hinge was, it makes it very easy for matching up the scallops. And I should use my bone folder, but uh, this will be fine for right now. So there, so now we've created our easel. This is where you're going to put your adhesive for your card front. Okay, so I'll just put that aside for a second. The next thing you're going to work on is this piece here. So I'm going to take, I think this is American Crafts Roses or Webster's Pages. I'm not sure. It's the one that has the tool on the bottom. And I'm just going to glue this really pretty pink rose right into the center of that scalp circle. So I'm going to glue it down all, not just in the middle, but all the way around. And you'll see why I'm doing that in just a second. So just find your center, and I'm just kind of eyeballing. And push it down. 
Ooh, it came right through the glue. And then kind of fluff up your flower if you glued it down too much like I just did. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take some scissors. The reason you put this down because this is going to be your stop mark where you're going to cut. And you're going to cut all the way up every single scallop and create petals all the way around and stopping where your flower is glued down. So now you've created like a daisy for our flower with petals. It's really pretty. So next I'm going to take two of these um, I Am Roses leaves. I just pull them out like that. So just poke one in down here and then the other one just kind of at an angle right above it. There we go. There. Like that. So that for me is my right side of my card. The next thing I'm going to do is adhere this Kiwi Kiss to the front half here. And it's pretty easy. You're just going to line up the scallops like so and then just use, I use my ATG gun and ran it all across here and then just glue this piece right on top. Okay, so I've gone ahead and glued down my green piece. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue down this flowered piece, but I'm not going to glue each petal down because I want them to be kind of free um, to be petals. So I'm only going to apply glue in the center of the um, flower and then apply it down to the green. I'm just using my glue gun off camera there, and I'm going to make sure to keep those petals to the right, because I want my flower petals to the right. Line up the scallops as best as you can all the way around, and then just press it down in the center. There, just like that. So now you've got your card. So now we have to create our little easel part. So what I did is I took my uh, scallop circle punch from Stampin' Up! Just to keep in the same vein as the scallops, the bigger circle, it's just a smaller one. And I used this stamp, It's Your Day. So it could be a multi-purpose card for anything. Birthday, anniversary graduation, whatever you want. And this was the one and three eighths circle. So I'm just going to adhere that down to the middle of the green scallop circle. And then with these little stickers that I got, you know, sometimes you wonder why you buy this stuff, but I, I just love it because I know you're going to use them as little embellishments. So there's butterflies and ladybugs and any number of things. So you figure out which one will be the best. I'm going to use this little ladybug. Just going to glue it right there on the side. So it looks like that. Then I'm going to raise this little um, sentiment up with not one layer of um, foam tape. I'm going to do it in two layers so that it really, really pops up. So just uh, cut out two equal pieces of foam tape and glue them to each other first. This stuff is so sticky. Ooh. There. And then take off the one piece and adhere it to the back. The reason I made it so wide is so it also caught the ladybug in case a little bit of adhesive that came with the ladybug wasn't strong enough. So it also got that in there too. Then just peel off your tape and open up your card here and kind of figure where you want your sentiment to lie. And then just put it like that. And there you have your beautiful easel card in a circular format. So here's my three. 
Oh, I forgot one thing that I added to them. Well, I'll show you on this one. I added some stickles here. It's not really stickles. It's Michael's glitter glue, but it, I love this dusty rose. So I'm not sure if you can see that on the rose there. So I added that, and it kind of, again, echoes the little glitter that's on the wings on all of these pieces, and also on this one as well. So because the stickers are all different, there's a ladybug there, a little butterfly there, and then just a different butterfly there. It doesn't really matter. They still all are in the same theme, but I just think they are so, so, so pretty. So again, I got my inspiration from Sister D on YouTube, and thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.